so hey guys welcome back to my Hello channel guys. so today we will complete this fifth lab of this uh, learn to one cloud security challenge and this will take hardly um, 10, 10 minutes I will try to cover everything within 10 minutes and we will not go into the detail and uh, if you want to go in the detail I have made another video uh, today we are just to do it as fast as we can do it okay. and uh, here use this email id and password provided click on this accept button and uh, i think it will ask to accept my country and the location yeah here it is select your country and the location okay here we go and first of all it okay we have to activate the cloud cell here is the cloud cell you can see top on the top right click on continue and minimize this navigation menu and once it is done we have to authorize our Google Cloud Console Terminal that is Cloud Cell Terminal so that whenever you run any code it will not uh, ask us to okay is it done or not yeah it is done nice leave everything okay so to enable API first of all we have to Set project variable. So set project variable. We use this code. Now enable service network. Just copy one by one this provided code there. Wait. Wait one code to Phoenix and then paste another one. Don't do so hurry. We have at least five days complete this okay, let's check it out oh it is enabled cloud logging api we have already enabled wait not working let's check once again yeah okay now we will build the cloud uh, google cloud networking footprint so to do this first we have to create a ppc so to create the VPC, we have the code given there and uh, wait one second okay it will take I think more than one second okay, there it is done uh, if it promote to authorize the command click on authorize it doesn't ask me to authorize so no problem now we will run this code a subnet and it will create a subnet inside and after this we will configure our private service private service access so wait okay it is done now let's copy this code and paste it here Okay, now it is done good. Now create a private connection. Create this private connection. There is everything written. Just follow this manual and we will complete this lab very fast. So it will take about more than one minute or what? I think it will take a little bit more things happening so just wait few more seconds so here it is done now ok let's check our progress yeah our assessment is completed so now we will create a cloud IDS endpoint so to create this 
RDS endpoint. We have to create it. First of all, good one. And uh, yeah, it is done. Now let's verify it is created or not. Yeah, it is created. Let's check the progress. Nice. Now we'll create a firewall rule for cloud net. So to create the rule, we have to go with this first code and it will take one to two seconds. Nice. Now copy this again. Second line. Paste it here. And uh, here we go. Boom. Nice. And let's check it out. Nice. And now copy this code. And uh, it will create a router. And now let's configure. We are just configuring our cloud net. It will create not very fast, but it is faster. Okay, let's check our progress. Cloud router is created or not? Yeah, it says it's not created, but we have done every step. Let's check it once again. Okay, still it is not under the uh, ready condition, I think. Let's check once again. Yeah, see this. You need to wait a little bit. Okay, now we'll create two virtual machines. So to create two virtual machines, we can do it manually. What here is they have provided the code. So just use this code and it will be faster. Okay. It is a little bit longer than the usual. No, this is done. Now the second code. Don't change any of the parameter mentioned. They are just copy same to same. And uh, this going to be very quick, I think. Let's check our virtual machine is ready or not. It is ready. Now let's prepare our server. So first of all, we have to connect our SSH. Press Y. Okay, so what should be the passphrase? Let's read, uh, read this documentation. When promoted for the passphrase, press enter key twice. Use a blank passphrase. Okay. You can type any of the password or you can use sim instruction. Press enter twice. And once again, that's it. Now we will confirm where surface is the tiny. How to confirm it? You will use this code. Yeah, it is active. And uh, now let's change the directory. And once the directory is changed, we will create a manging files. Just copy and paste it and uh, add some of the content to newly created file. I'm just going with the steps and now exit from here. Okay, now we will create a cloud ideas packet mirroring policy. So, to create it, yeah, no, status is created. So, so I identify the address in the point forwarding rule. Address status is ready. No, no, okay, no. Um, we need to wait a few minutes no, until the status is ready. So, let's wait until the status is ready. It will take about 10 minutes. So, I will wait for 10 minutes, then we will continue. Okay, so finally, after 10 minutes, our status is uh, ready. Just run the same code and you can see the status, it says ready, okay? So once the status is ready, you can proceed further. Okay? Use this code to check your status. Now, copy this code and run it. And here, 
Okay, that's good. I come to this one. And it will create some forwarding rule. I think uh, it will promote the forwarding rule which we have created, I think. Yeah. Let's see that. Get and attach the packet. We did it everything correctly. Why? You <coughs> say. Oh, it will take a little Yeah, it is. So now let's verify our packet. Okay. So to verify this, run the code. Yeah, it is true. Now, stimulate the attack traffic. Now, stimulate the attack traffic. And uh, here it is. And you can run this code. Uh, what? And uh, this code. We have to use this and uh, yes. this and now is that it? Now review your test by the Google Cloud IDS. You can go through this and but we have completed our lab, no need to go further. So, see you in the next lab. This was our data. Click on this int tab, click on submit. Done, submit it. That's it. Okay, thank you everyone. See you in the next lab.